It's product review time, it's product review time, it's product review time. Hey guys! Okay, so once again, it's already been way too long since I kind of posted a video. I apologize about that. However, I bring the goods. Okay, I was um, recently in, well not recently, back in February I actually went to Singapore. And so what ended up happening was somehow I didn't bring anything to wash my hair or condition my hair. I needed to wash or condition my hair and I went to their pharmacy store uh, which is actually in Singapore, most likely Japan, Korea and of course in Taiwan which is Watson's. And their Watson's was very interesting because they actually had you know, the Giovanni um, hair brand. And there's, um, it's not weird that they had Giovanni, it's just interesting that Taiwan, I don't believe so far, at least with the area I'm staying, they do not carry Giovanni. So here I see some Giovanni blasts from the past, I haven't seen that in a while. Not only that, it seems that they have repackaged certain things to make it look more sleek and cute. So I'm going to be reviewing the shampoo and I'm going to be reviewing the conditioner. Now unfortunately, what I really wanted to get was the avocado oil shampoo, but they didn't have any. And I like even asked if they could go to the back. They went to the back, they didn't have it. So, oh well. So I ended up getting the Brazilian keratin and um, argan oil shampoo. And what did I think about it? You guys know I'm pretty lenient when it comes to shampoos. As long as it gets my hair clean, without making it feel like straw, unless I am doing an actual chelate, unless I'm actually chelating my hair, I don't need it to be rainbows and sunshines. So the texture was really good. It was really like a smooth texture, really silky. The thing I loved most about this was the smell. I mean, it smells so good. Like it's like coconut or like buttercream or like this beautiful marriage of coconut and buttercream put together. Um, but it did a great job. It did not strip my hair. I really liked it. The lather was pretty okay. Um, I believe there was a lot more lathering. Um, and here's our first five. We've got water, sodium cocomophoacetate, yeah. Uh, Decoglucoside, sodium laurel sarcosinate, cocomidopropobate. So those are the first five ingredients um, that are in the shampoo. I believe the sodium laurel, la, la I believe it's safe. It's not like one of the bad SLS sulfates or whatever. Um, but those are the first five. So sometimes I find that cocomato, coco, coco, that thing. I sometimes find that it could make my hair feel really, really stripped. Like Burt's Bee shampoo, like really strips my hair. I believe they use this same type of uh, clarifier. And uh, it did not, like I said, it did not strip my hair. Now, if you keep going down the ingredients list after you get past the first five, you see that they have jojoba seed oil. We've got, of course, the argan oil. And it's actually like the, what is that? Almost like the ninth or tenth ingredient. So it's really cool. And then, of course, there's aloe vera. There's coconut oil. Ah. And then there's uh, shea butter in here. You know, but of course, it's down towards the bottom. So like I said, I really like this. I don't know about this Spanish fridge thing because, you know, of course, my hair is my hair. So... Unless I'm going to like wear it straight, I don't care, it just moves my hair. Now the next thing I'm going to review is the avocado and olive oil conditioner. Um, I liked this conditioner a lot. It was very moisturizing for my hair. I really liked it. However, the smell, not so much. Let me see, it reminded me of something like a bad movie from Relaxer Days. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what, it kind of reminds me of lotion. Actually, it just reminds me of regular lotion, but there's another product that this smell reminds me of that was low quality that I used to have, um, that I used to use back in my transitioning slash relaxer days. Um, however, like I said, it's a really good conditioner. It has some good slip. It was great detangling my hair. I really liked it. I actually 
also use this because the day that I washed my hair was actually the day that I decided to do a wash and go. And usually when I do my wash and goes, I usually do them curly girl style by Lorraine Massey's method, which is you just like, like put all this conditioner on your hair and then you slap it on your hair and then you like rake it through. Well, you don't rake it. Well, you can rake. Some women rake. I am more so smooth and you put so much on it and you load up on there and then you just let it dry naturally. And after I did all that, my hair didn't even need to do that because this conditioner is so thick. So I didn't even like, I'm not even half, I'm not, I'm not even halfway through this thing actually. So that's really good because some conditioners, you know, they're so weak that if you're doing the wash and go method, you're having to use a lot of shampoo. So overall, my thoughts, I really enjoyed this uh, Too Chic um, from Giovanni. I liked it a lot. Um, I think the quality was really well. I actually got it on sale. Uh, one place was trying to charge like a crazy amount. That wasn't Watson's. They were trying to charge like a crazy amount. And then I went to the Watson's, like I said, and inside the mall in Singapore, and they were having like a crazy good deal. It was almost like buy one, get one half off, or buy one and get one damn near free. So it was like crazy. It was really good. So I do recommend these products. I'm not sure if they're in the U.S., but if you're in Singapore and maybe if you're in a really good watch in Taiwan, you should definitely check this out if you have um, issues with um, wanting to keep moisture inside your hair, keeping your hair moisturized. I really do think that you should definitely check this out. And um, until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. long time since I've had time to talk with you as my dog is smelling into my mouth as if he's never smelled my lip gloss. Hi. Hey Benji. Can you go sit down? Can you go sit down? The whole world is going to see who you are. <laughs>